Today we are going to be installing, reviewing, and telling you everything that you need to know about this Brondell Swash 1400 uh, Luxury Bidet. You can see this is everything that comes inside the box when you first get this. You have, of course, the bidet itself. This is an electric bidet, and then you do have a mount uh, to put onto a toilet. It comes in a round and elongated size, but you do need to make sure you get the right size. You can see we have an elongated toilet here, so we got the elongated size. Um, we have the valve here. It comes with some instructions, and then you have your, your T-valve, and then uh, batteries for the remote, and then other things to go through and mount, the, mount it to the toilet. And then it does come with a remote as well. I'm excited to test this out. And you can see this remote comes with a little um, holder that you can mount to the wall using the anchors right here. Brondell did send me this toilet for this review because I reached out to them because I was so impressed with their non-electric bidet. I wanted to see if I could get my hands on this to give it a full and honest opinion and review. So let's jump right in. Okay, so when it comes to installing this thing, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing you wanna do is, of course, go through and take off your current toilet seat. Um, from there, you're gonna to wanna to identify your valve over here. You're gonna to wanna to flip this switch down uh, so you turn off the water. Once you're done with that, you're gonna to wanna to go through and flush the toilet so you get all of it out of the bowl here and out of this tank. From here, what we're gonna do is go and twist this little part off. Be careful, a little bit of water may spill, so you might wanna have like a bucket or something close by. Next, we're going to take this T-valve that is provided, make sure that you have the rubber washer inside of there, and we're gonna go through and screw that on uh, just over this way. Okay, now that we have the valve on there, we're gonna go through and connect this to the main water line here. Okay, so the next step is to actually put this mounting bracket onto the toilet itself. In order to do that, what we're gonna do is this little black part, these little rubber kind of pads that keep it from slipping, we're gonna put this face down. We want this kind of rounder part facing the back of the toilet. You can go through and kind of set that where it needs to go. And then it comes with these little adjustment uh, clamps, if you will. And what these do is you can go through and put them in and then make sure they are over the holes of your toilet seat. And uh, this allows you, this, what this does is it allows you to customize it to fit whatever kind of um, setup you have in the back of the holes here so you can adjust it up and down to fit your toilet specifically. So we're just going to line those up to a good spot. Okay, and once we have that to a good spot, what we're going to do is take these bolts that it comes with and we're going to go through and drop that in there. And then what you want to do is go um, put this part up at the very front, then this part, and then this, and we're going to go and screw it on the back just like this to keep this bolt in place um, for this bracket. So we're going to go through and screw that on the bottom here. And now we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side. And you can see what this allows us to do on the back of this toilet. There's these nice little mounting plate here that we go through and just simply slide this on that plate. And it clicks on just like that. Well, I didn't get a great view of that. The good thing is this, what this allows us to do is to easily take it on and off when we need to. And in order to take it off, there's a little button on the side here that'll give you another view of, but there's a little button right here that you just clip this and then it allows you to just simply slide this off for easy cleaning. And then when it's time, when you're done cleaning or anything like that, all you need to do is slide it back on just like that. So super easy to go through and take this on and off, which is really nice. So now we are almost done. The last thing we need to do is go through and grab this little hose right here and then screw this onto this side over, uh, kind of on the side of this toilet here. I know you can't see it great, but there's just a little place to go through and screw this in. <clears throat> Okay, and once you have it screwed into the bidet, all you need to do is grab this part right here and then screw it into the other end of this T-valve. So we're gonna go through and screw this in right here. Okay, and you can see we have this hooked up to here now over with this little um, hose that they provide. And the last thing is to go through and plug this thing in and then turn the water on. You do want to make sure that you have a proper outlet for this. You do want a GFCI outlet um, in your bathroom to go through and plug this in. So just a heads up there. But before I plug it in, I do want to turn the water on to make sure we have no leaks or anything like that. So go through and flip your water on. And you can see we don't have any leaks over here or here. We are all good to go. The toilet's now filling up with a little bit of water. And then we're going to go through and show you everything that this thing can do. Okay, and here's what it looks like when it is all installed. Very clean looking. You can see it's a little bit thicker on the back uh, because of the power here but and everything that it can do. But this is what it looks like with the seat up. Very nice design here. And then this right there. And then this, of course, does have the soft close feature. So when you're going down, it will slowly close on you without making a ruckus. Same with the top here. And then, of course, if you wanted to go through and make that go faster, you can just simply push that down. See, it sits really well on the toilet. Okay, so now that we got this thing all set up, I want to go through what this uh, bidet can actually do with the remote. Now, what's cool about the remote and what you'll probably notice when you first get this is if I go through and press the rear button right here to turn on the bidet, you will notice it will just beep, but it will not actually spray out, which is a very good thing because 
obviously if I turn this on right now, it'd be spraying straight into the camera, then we'd have a problem. So that's kind of a nice little feature that it has in case a kid or something, or you accidentally go through and press the remote, it's not gonna just start spraying on you unless it senses that your bum is actually on the toilet. So you can see when it senses something's on the toilet, what it will do is it will give a self-cleaning feature. So in order to replicate that, I'm just gonna put some pressure right here, and then you'll hear like a little beep sound, and then you'll see the self-cleaning go through. So if I go through and press right along here, you can see, you'll hear that little beep, and that means it's now ready for the toilet to go. So I'm gonna keep this hand down here and give you an idea of what this looks like. So then we can go through and then press the rear button. And you can see it's gonna shoot for a second and then all it will kind of do a self-clean mode. And then it shoots up here. So let me see. Now, now with this bidet, not only can you control the water temperature, so you can see you can go through and change the water temperature to cold, medium, or hot, but you can also go through and change the seat temperature. So you can make the actual seat around here uh, warmer as well by uh, low, medium, or high, or completely off, depending on whatever setting you're wanting. You can go through and adjust the nozzle position and the water pressure of the nozzle as well. So you can go through and move it, you can remove the pressure and the position, and then also the spray width on the, the actual nozzle itself. And here's a closer look at the actual spray. You can see when you first turn it on, it will go through and spray some water down to make sure everything's sterile. Then it comes out just like this, and then you'll start spraying through. This is the first setting on here. And you can, go, of course, go through and move this thing up and down uh, pretty quite a bit. As you hold it down, you can see I go up and down quite a bit. And then on top of that, you can go through and change these spray settings, as I mentioned. So here's spreading two, and then setting three is right there. It's more of that like kind of circle spray coming over. And then, of course, you can go through and adjust the pressure of the spray. So the buttons that you can press while the... Um while you are actually sitting on the seat is right here you can actually go through and it does have a nozzle cleaning feature and what this will do is it'll go through and shoot water down and this helps keep the bacteria and all the stuff that gets on the that could get on these nozzles off you can see and this is a dual nozzle system for both the rear and the front wash stainless steel nozzles here which uh, is a huge benefit as well and it'll go through and run through that cycle or you can go through and hit stop here there is also a deodorizing feature. So you can go through and click this and that will go through and run a fan through here to help deodorize everything in there. There's also a dry function. The dry function comes right here. There's a little vent that you go through and when you click that, it will start uh, spraying out a fan to go through and dry your behind after you go through and use the bidet And also I think another nice feature about this particular model is that you do have uh, pre-settings. So you do have user one and user two. In order to do that, you just go through and set the cycle up, go through that cycle and then click this down. It will then beep at you, letting you know that user setting one is now set. So then you, whenever you get on, you don't have to go through and touch the remote every time you just hit user one or you have your user two as well as an option. And if for whatever reason you didn't want to remove user remote, you can see you do have settings here on the side for nozzle, rear, and then nozzle clean rear, and then power as well on this side. So the ultimate question is, is this bidet worth it? And I got to say 100% it is worth it. If you were looking for a luxury bidet, this is one that I would certainly recommend. Not only is it work really well, it's gonna save you a ton of money so you can just use toilet paper as decor like <laughs> in this bathroom right here. But also, I mean, with all the features that this comes with, the dual stainless steel nozzles, you have the ability to adjust the spray, the water temperature, the seat temperature as well, and also do like the dual nozzle clean all sorts of different things with the remote is really nice. I love the fact that it won't work unless you're actually sitting on it, especially having two kids. That's a big thing for me because with other bidets, sometimes they can just go through and twist a nozzle and then all of a sudden it's just spraying water. It can really be a hassle. I also like that you can do the user one and user two preset. So you can just go through and in one button have your preferred cycle for this bidet. One thing also that I didn't realize was gonna be so helpful is the drying function. This is really nice for when you are done, you know, sometimes there's water down there. So this is really nice for spraying things and getting dry down there. Uh, I, was really, I was really impressed with how useful the drying function was.
But just because I would recommend this doesn't mean I think it is for everybody. There are a couple of cons to note about this or this bidet in particular. One, the actual size of the bidet. It is a lot bigger, and so you will notice that it is a bidet. I think they did a really good job hiding the cords with the way that they kind of placed them in the back, but it definitely still looks like a bidet and it's a little bit bigger. On top of that, if you don't have a grounded outlet inside of your bathroom, this might not be the best one for you. And third, of course, the price for this bidet. This is a luxury bidet. You obviously get what you pay for. And so so if you are looking for a solution to all three of those negatives, I would recommend looking into the Brondell Eco Seat. It is a non-electric bidet, so you don't need to plug it into electricity. It looks just like a normal toilet seat. Here's a video of it right now. You can see it looks just like that. And this is also a lot more affordable option. So um, if you if, if those three cons are things that kind of resonate with you, you may want to look into that bidet instead of this luxury one. But overall, if you want something that has the heated seats, the heated water, um, all the bells and whistles, and of course the wireless remote, the Swash 1400 luxury bidet is one that you would want to look for. Of course, links to the bidets will be linked down below in the description. Go check those out if you're interested, and we'll see you in the next one.